hello. Well, that looks more promising than the stream I tried a moment ago. It's gone 3 a.m. Still can't sleep on a Sunday morning now, it is. More anxiety about getting rid of rubbish. I've got a friend staying with me because we're both self isolating. And it doesn't help. Yeah, I've tried my GP, my caseworker, my mental health caseworker. I've tried charities. I'm even considering using rope and lowering the bags down from your window. 50 foot rope. But I'm not sure that would be legal either. Waltham Forest Housing just say you can't store them inside the flat. And when I say, well, how am I going to get rid of them? They just say, well, contact your caseworker or go through occupational therapy. Well, I'm fed up with going through this and going through that. And especially with the council. I was hoping that my casework or my GP would have something to say, but I don't think anyone believes them as bad as I am. So, I don't know what I'm going to do about rubbish. I seem to be destined to be trapped in this place for the rest of my life. And I don't know. I've turned it into a nice little home. It's nice and comfortable. But with that security on the front door, I can't leave. Can't even leave with someone. I'm afraid to leave my door in case anything happens. I've, pri I've tried putting a lock on the door, on the letterbox. I can't get the screws in. I think the metal frame is just too metal. The door my housing officer really cares about is, oh, thank you for taking the camera down, Mr Gibbons. Oh yeah, thank you for locking me in. Like I told him it would. With that camera, I can't do anything. I sit here, day after day, hour after hour, daytime and nighttime, just in pure terror. I suppose I better call DWP on Monday, because no one else is going to call them. I contacted a charity on Friday and they put me in touch with people in Hackney. Thank you. They're going to look on Monday for someone in my area, but I don't think there's going to be much chance of that happening somewhere. Oh, look, more people moving around. This is supposed to be lockdown. We've got more traffic down here than ever. Just like last lockdown. And no one does bugger all about that either. adjusting the cameras. I have multiple cameras on this you see. But I'm not sure. Hmm, yeah I'm not sure. If you turn the OBS window off and move you oh, I can't do it. I'm trying to do three things at once and keep an eye on the cats. Who are just about killing each other, I would say. Right, if we 
do that. DWP on Monday morning. Keep my fingers crossed that this other charity comes through. I don't think there's actually anyone in my area that will do anything like this. I'm so easily intimidated and threatened probably why I was so easy to be picked on at school. I don't know. Oh. The youngsters are out killing each other again, apparently. chocolate and a cheese sandwich because that normally helps getting back to sleep it's a bit too late in the day or too late in the morning to take night out so I don't know I'm wide awake again I suppose sitting in front of all the lights and streaming isn't really helpful but there we are such is life. Now I have to give it all up and move again. I don't want to move. But what choice do I have? I'm surrounded by liars and lawbreakers. The police won't do anything. You see, I wouldn't mind so much if people put on their websites, like the police, for instance. If you move on to a housing estate, we won't take any action. We'll consider you a low priority, because I think they do. The council have put black metal poles up out here. There's been no notice coming round about anything. And I get feed from the Waltham Forest news. Now, I haven't seen anything about putting black bows up. I'm assuming it's a parking sign. Because that's what it looks like. It's not a camera post. It's too low. So I'm assuming it's the fact that the parking enforcement has come in. Or will be coming in. Oh, there we are then. Caspia's kicked tabs off the bloody... Right, I might end the stream now and go back to bed and find out what's happening with tabs. He's been kicked off the sofa where he's been all that evening. Right. As a beaded homosexual once said in the late 70s and early 80s, Road Telecine. Mm. 